case you're wondering, the reason why I named my channel Bright Guy How To Win Reviews is because I wanted it to revolve around the channels of SCR Safety, who does fire alarm videos, and uh, Redline Reviews, who does car reviews. So I'm gonna do my first car review now with the 2019 Nissan Maxima. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see, you have some, you have your LED daytime running lights, LED low and high beams, and LED turn signals. And then you have LED fog lights as well, and well integrated parking sensors. And then you have your Nissan badge here, which is used for the, uh, used for the adaptive cruise control feature. Which I will talk about later in the video. video. Just a fun fact, the Nissan Maxima is actually shorter in length of the Altima. Coming, coming around to the back here, you see you have your um, quad outlet exhaust, well, dual outlet exhaust, but it looks like a quad outlet exhaust. Here, I can show you. There's actually only one exhaust tip in there. And then you got your integrated parking sensors along with your LED um, brake lights, LED turn signal, and LED back reverse lights. And then you have the platinum badge, but I forgot to mention because this is the platinum edition, which is the top of the line opening the trunk here we see we have a fairly good amount of space in here um, I forgot exactly what Nissan rates it at but I can put it in the video um, and then under here you have a spare tire instead of what some competitors give you which is just a fix a flat kit but I really do like the exterior of the Nissan Maxima. It looks new. It looks new. It looks, looks great. So let's go ahead and hop into the interior. As you can see, as you can see here, this is the standard Nissan key fob. To um, it also has remote start. To activate the remote start, you have to press the lock button, and then press and hold the remote start button. And then to turn it off, you just press the remote start button again. So, walking up to the car here. As you can see, uh, there's a button on the door handle here. You push it to lock it. And Nissan doesn't do a sensor on the back of the door handle, so you have to push it to unlock it again. So let's go ahead and step into the car here. It's pretty kind of a low step in height. That door has a pretty solid thunk to it. So, to start up the engine like you do in um, most most new vehicles, you have to put your foot on the brake and then press the start button which is located here. So that you heard there was the standard Nissan Chime. Just a fun fact um, that has been the Nissan Chime since 2001. Well, they actually changed it in 2013. They made the pitch a bit lower, but it, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the car here. So as you can see, you have your regular instrument gauges and then you have your music, your map, your 
drive computer, your fuel economy, driving aids. Let's go ahead and take a look at the driving aids. So it has blind spot warning system and lane departure system. Um, wait, how do you go back? Okay. So then tire pressure, sport mode, warning review, and then your settings, and then you have the home screen again. So, um, let's take a look at the steering wheel here. So as you can see here, it's pretty, um, I don't like that the bottom of the steering wheel is flat. It makes it feel a bit weird, but it, that really isn't that important. So as you can see over here, you have your cruise control buttons. This is how you turn on cruise control. This changes. So when you're driving on cruise control, what adaptive cruise control does is that okay so what the adaptive what this button does is it changes the amount of of space between the car in front of you if you want it one car length two three four or five what no i think four is the max and then these buttons set your cruise control and then you have your voice command here and then the phone button here and then over here, you have your volume buttons. And these buttons control the menu. And so does this button sometimes. And this button you can use, this thing you can use to change in between stations on the radio. And then this changes your source on the radio. So here you have him your window switches. It's automatic up and down for the driver and passenger only. It is not, and it is not for the back seats. I wish that Nissan had just made it a uh, one touch for all four of them. And then over here, you have a steering wheel heater and this rear sunshade. Which I think is pretty cool. So coming over here, you have your you have your standard Nissan Connect infotainment system, which includes Sirius XM, Hema satellite radio, and it also has the Nissan navigation system, and it also has Bluetooth connections. It also does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which I will show you here. And then, and then it also has your back, you also have your backup camera. Well, the quality on the backup camera is not very good. I mean, I wish Nissan had made it a little better, but uh, you also do have a 360 view that is very helpful when parking. So then down here you have your dual zone climate controls and then your start button and then you have your CVT, then you have your gear shift here. I will go into explaining the um, transmissions later in the video. And then down here you have this pretty deep storage compartment that's lined with felt and then you have your USB-C your USB connection and then you have an aux connection here. You can also close that there. There's no wireless charging pad there. And then down here, this mainly just controls the radio screen. Well, the uh, pointer on the radio. It also helps with the map. Um, and then you can also put the car into sport mode using this button here. And then you have have in heated seats for the front seats only. There's nothing for the back seats which is a bit surprising if they, I mean, well, it's not very surprising. I mean, a lot of competitors don't do that. And then this glove compartment here, you have this 12 volt DC power outlet. And then I honestly do not know what this switch is for. 
I mean, I've pressed it a bunch of times. It doesn't do anything. But, yeah. Oh, right. Your glove compartment here. Or it's stamped. It's lined with felt. It's a pretty deep glove compartment. But, I think, yeah. I also have your, um, well, a panoramic sunroof, but it's separated by this piece right here. So, let's go ahead and open it. It lets in a pretty good amount of light here, but other than that, it, um, this is a great interior so far. Um, oh, right, I forgot to mention that there is a CD player here, which a lot of competitors are taking those out, other vehicles. So, oh, um, I, and these, this steering wheel is, is power tilt and telescope is, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So let's go ahead and hop into the back seat and see what it is like back there. So stepping into the back seat here, Nissan actually says that you get around uh, 30, uh, 34.6 uh, inches of leg room back here. And um, I'm, I don't remember exactly how, how tall I am, but I'm 13, and this seat is not scooted all the way back, and it is actually starting to get a little cramped here, so I hate to see uh, a full-size adult sit in here, but yeah, uh, you have your USB-C outlet, your USB outlet, two, uh, two rear seat air vents that can be opened and closed, and yeah, let's re that's pretty much it for the back seat of the car. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's under the hood. Taking a look under the hood here. Well, gotta, where is that yellow latch? Okay, there we go. Taking a look under the hood here, you see you have a CVT V6 engine, a six cylinder engine. Um, so what CVT mainly means is that the transmission is not like a, a standard automatic transmission. It's what's in most hybrid cars now, um, but a, tran a regular transmission has different gears that switch. So when you're driving a car and you start to speed up and then you hear that, that's the gears switching every time. Uh, that's the gear switching. So this car, it makes that noise, but that's actually not happening. Well, the gears aren't actually switching. It's pretty much just a one speed uh, transmission. But the engine does fake that noise, which I think is pretty cool. So that's going to conclude it for my car review on the Nissan Maxima. Um, I would like to know your opinion in a poll up here if I should make another one of these car reviews. So anyway guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please make sure to rate, subscribe, and have a good day.